Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain how the strike missions work in detail. We will talk about profit crystals and profit charms, and we will learn how can we use them to buy ascended armor and ascended weapons. To get started, go to Eye of the North. This is where you can access all the current strike missions and all the future ones that will still be released. Or you can buy a portal from this karma merchant at this waypoint in the Ura Marshes. To start the strike mission, go to the portal and you will find all the options available. There is only one mission that will not be found at the portal and instead will be at the pool. This pool can be found northwest of the waypoint. And here is the exact location on the map. This mission is called Forging Steel, and it should be the first option that show up on the list. The good thing about strike missions is how easy and quick it is to find a group. All you have to do is go to LFG and then you will find a strike missions tab there is also a public option you can join those can only be found in forging steel the other place you will find public join is in the daily strike mission and this will be always the top option on the list. Only two strike missions have a little complicated mechanics. Those are Whisper of Jormag and Bone Skinner. Once you join any of the missions and your squad is ready, the fight with the last boss will start right away. However, there are two exceptions. For Shiver Peak Pass, there is a very short and simple jumping puzzle you need to do. But the good news is, only one in the entire squad needs to actually finish it. And when they are done, you will see a shrine portal icon like this. Just click on it and it will take you straight to the boss. The other one is Forging Steel. You don't really go straight to the boss. There's actually a bunch of side quests and events you need to do first. But the good news is, it's really not that hard at all, and even the last fight is very straightforward. And the rewards are at least three times the amount you will get in a normal strike mission. So it is definitely worthwhile. If you want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial for any of the fights and the mechanics included, just post in the comments below. Now that we know how to start a strike mission and where exactly do we need to go for them, it's time to talk about rewards. Once you are done killing the boss, the daily chests will show up, and you can open them only once per day. They will not really have any valuable loot, but they have a very good chance of dropping some unique skin, and I will provide a link in the description of exactly what you can get from them. You can only open those chests if you have at least tier 2 in the mastery for the essence manipulation. Ideally you want tier 2 in all three of them, because each strike mission may require a different one. You will find a panel like this inside most of the missions. When you keep hitting it, it will drop the essence for you, and you can build up your total 30 stacks for maximum benefit. But this can only be done if you have the tier 3 mastery. And once you build up your stacks, if you look at the effects, they will include bonus rewards and also other benefits that will help you in the fight. You will also notice a timer on the top right corner whenever you are fighting a boss. That timer will reward you with more chests if you are done quick enough. Next, 
we have liquid gold and charm. You will get them every time you are done with killing a boss. Whether you have done any strike mission one time per day or hundred times per day, every time you are done with one of them, you will get liquid gold and chard. They are always guaranteed. The chard will always be between 1 and 3. You will also get anywhere between 35 and 45 silver. And this time, it's affected by speed. The faster you kill the boss, the more silver you will get. Forging steel, however, is going to give you much more gold and charge. They will give you anywhere between 6 to 11 charge and 1.5 gold. Next, we will talk about crystals. You can only get them from the daily strike mission. And you get a maximum of 1 per day. You will still get gold and charge every time. And you can also get a maximum of 3 crystals for the entire week. You can find those profit charge and crystals in your wallet. And as you can see, they have different colors. We will explain them in details later. Those crystals can then be used to open the weekly chest that sits right outside of the pool. You can open it with one crystal, or two, or a maximum of three. I had some footage prepared for you to show you here, but unfortunately they got corrupted. So I apologize, I will not be able to show you exactly how you can use one or two or three for them. The important thing is, the more crystals you use to open the chest, the better rewards and the higher chance you get of a unique skin. So always try to use three crystals. Now keep in mind that the weekly reset happens on Monday, at 7.30 UTC. I will leave a link in the description if you want to convert that to your own time zone. The only other use for crystals are to get stabilized profit crystals. They are kind of an upgraded version of them. And you can use them to either sell directly on the trading post or you can use them to craft some unique skins for yourself if you want or also to sell on the trading post for some extra gold. Now let's talk about the different colors for the charge and crystals. And as you notice, we always have blue, green, and red. The thing you need to know is that you will only get one color every week. So for example, if this week is green, then you will always get green crystals and green charge as rewards. And then next week, for example, will be blue, and the one after will be red. You can use red chart to buy ascended armor with offensive stats. So things like Berserker, Marauder, and such. And you can use the blue chart to buy ascended armor with defensive stats. So Menestro, Nomad, and the likes. Green chart can be used to buy weapons. But those weapons will only have the central area stat. They will not include things like Minestrel or Viper or Trade Blazer. The colors of crystals, on the other hand, does not matter at all. They will all have the exact same rewards, exact same chance of getting the unique skin. There is no difference whatsoever. The good thing is, you can exchange those colors if you want. And you may want to do this in few cases. For example, let's say you have some green charts and you are not really interested in buying anything with them. So you can just exchange them for some blue or red chart to buy ascended armor instead. And as you can see, the rate is 2 to 1. And the last thing we will look at will be the first tab. Now this is where you can get some unique minis and items you can use to craft some unique skins. And some of them will be locked behind certain missions or certain achievements. If you look down, it will tell you exactly what you need to unlock that reward. Keep in mind that those items and minis can also drop from the strike missions themselves. Before we end our video, let me give you some quick tips about strike missions. The first thing is, they are not as easy as open world content. But they are also not very hard. 
you can think of them as a stepping stone for raids or other hard content like some tier 4 tracks. You should only take classes that you know how to play and that maybe have some decent gear. Exotic will do just fine. And don't be toxic. Overall attitude in the groups you will find mostly doing strike missions will be actually very friendly and very forgiving. So you don't be toxic so that they don't be toxic to you. Try to do all of the strike missions at least once per day, including forging steel. This will maximize your profit from the daily chests and also your chance of getting unique skins. If you are really short, you can just do the three easy ones, which are Shiver Peak Pass, Freiner, and Voice and Claw. Sometimes people refer to them as Codens for short. And we are done. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see some similar content, please subscribe and like the video.